Good day, folks. I'm Tim, and you're watching The Adventures of Two Wheel Tim. And today's adventure is the final day of my Beast Around the Bay journey. Today is absolutely perfect. I got a flat tire. And today we're riding home from Monterey to Santa Cruz. Should be about 48 to 50 miles. My plan is to go through Elkhorn Slough, which is a marine estuary, and it should be a really beautiful day, so I hope you'll join me. With the weather from the previous day at distant memory, the weather for today's ride was nearly perfect. Knowing the ride home featured more climbing, I decided to use pedal assist more sparingly. Perfect day heading north, headwind, beautiful weather, but there is more climbing on the way up, so I am going to conserve battery. I'll be using more pass one and no pedal assist at all, just to preserve my battery. as I retrace the route on the Monterey Bay Coastal Trail and enjoy the amazing scenery. This time I decided to turn north toward the town of Castroville. As the trail parallels Highway 1 and goes through the town of Castroville, the path actually passes over farmland to Castroville Boulevard. The trail follows Castroville Boulevard for about two miles. Through some residential neighborhoods before it officially comes to an end. From here, it was on to Elkhorn Road and through the Elkhorn Slough National Preserve. But not before passing some of the locals enjoying a snack, one of whom seemed to take a keen interest in my adventure.
I'm here at the Elkhorn Slough Foundation. Their mission is to preserve the Elkhorn Slough in its most natural habitat. Elkhorn Slough's diverse ecosystem is an essential habitat for over 340 different species of birds, as well as sea otters, fish, and other marine life making their way around the seven mile slough that ends in Moss Landing Harbor. I have 87% battery left today, and I have about 35 miles to go. Any day lived on two wheels is a glorious day. It's also a popular destination for kayakers and bird watchers. So this is the Elkhorn Slough Marine Estuary. It's just an absolutely gorgeous day today. This is a very popular destination for kayakers. But leaving Elkhorn Slough behind doesn't mean you leave all the beautiful scenery behind. farmlands of the Pajaro Valley appeared to stretch endlessly to the Santa Cruz Mountains as I made my way through the back roads on my way home. With a brief stop to sample the local cuisine. as I cross the Pajaro River and back into Santa Cruz County. My journey home from Monterey to Santa Cruz had reached its midway point. And despite this part of the route being just the reverse of two days prior, The ride home was anything but the same. It was about this time when I heard an all too familiar and very disheartening hissing sound coming from my rear wheel. Of course. With about 20 miles to go, I just had my first setback. I got a flat tire. So now I get to do my first flat fix on the road. Okay, I got the tube out, the tire off. I have a tire liner and I also have slime in my tube, but I got what looked to be a roofing staple in my tire when no amount of flat protection is gonna protect against that. Minor setback, couldn't happen in a better place. Here you can see basically what looks like a snake bite. The staple that went into my tire went in in two places and you can actually see the slime coming through. In that instance, it was just too much too fast. A little green snake bite.
sometimes you can do all you can for flat protection, but the elements just have other ideas. And the moral of the story is always be prepared. Okay, we're on the road again. Despite the flat tire and the 40 minutes it took me to fix it, The ride home was still wonderful and it was a great conclusion to a most amazing weekend. The Bike Tricks Juggernaut Ultra Beast 2 handled brilliantly. The Burley Nomad trailer worked flawlessly. And this three day weekend trip was without a doubt just the beginning. And as I made my way through the familiar streets of Capitola and Santa Cruz, I knew my 130 mile weekend of e-biking bliss was quickly coming to an end. Okay, nearly 130 miles, 6,000 feet of climbing and 10 hours riding later. That was my ride from Santa Cruz to Monterey and Monterey to Santa Cruz. The toolkit I packed was essential and I had everything I needed to fix the flat as that occurred. Uh, I did probably overpack a few items, a couple of redundant tools that I wouldn't pack in the future just to save a little bit of weight. And next time I'd reevaluate some of the items I took. As I mentioned, I had about probably 75 pounds of cargo in the 17 pound trailer. While it wasn't a problem, the Beast and the Burley handled fantastic. Cutting down the weight would just add some efficiency to the battery. Uh, but all in all, it performed well. I got a lot of mileage. My longest day was uh, almost 51 miles and I had just over 30% battery left. The weather was great for the first and last day and the wind and drizzle and rain that I encountered on day two. The weather's gloomy, there's lots of debris and water on the road. It wasn't a problem, it was a minor inconvenience. The route was fantastic, the ride was great, and so I have no complaints. And I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again, <laughs> I can't say enough about the V-Speedster tires. They've handled every condition I put them through since I installed them eight months ago, and that held true over this last weekend with all the rain and debris. And I mean, what can I say about the flat tire? You know, I put tire liners in the tires and I put green slime in the tubes. And you know, sometimes you can prepare for just about anything you can think of, but the elements will just have its own plans for you. And so I don't know when I picked up the U-nail or how long it took to breach the tube, but sure enough it did. And I was just thankful I brought the tools and items along I needed to fix the flat. Well, that's all I have for now. I appreciate you joining me for my three-day Beast Around the Bay weekend journey. And I just want to remind you that if you enjoy my content, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell for notifications, and feel free to add your comments and questions below. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you in the next one.